can watch what their mama, uh, what she does, and just automatically follows. Automatically follows. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are not, don't, sometimes it's not good for you to bring your human knowledge into what I'm talking about. Leave your knowledge out of this. Leave the doctrine out of this. This is survival. This is street warfare. Because you are dealing with hoodlums. You are dealing with people in the hood. Demonic hoodlums. Luciferian hoodlums. And human beings who are working with them. You are dealing with human intelligence and leadership that is backed up by Satan. So why do you think that you need you need a human power to go and fight superhuman power. You'll be out of your mind to think that you can use your human power to go and be fighting supernatural power. But this is what the Bible says. But they are mighty through God. In the primary ministry is who? Where are you calling from? Okay, from UK. Okay, we are right now on a conference. We are in a conference right now. You can call me in two hours time, okay? Bye-bye. Calling from UK. Sounds good. Okay. See what the Bible says. Our weapons... Our implement of warfare are your song, your faith, your belief, your love, your joy, your happiness, your peace, your power in God, your testimony, the word of God applied, the word of God spoken over problems. There's no place for fear or doubt. There's no place for it. Your trust in the power of God and your trust in yourself because Jesus lives in you. The blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, those are all instruments of your, those are all weapons of warfare. Dancing unto the Lord, making music unto the Lord. Your prayer, consistent prayer. Your ability to pray and arouse angels to come to earth. You are talking now. Instrument of warfare or battles is your ability to make the presence of God show up, the glory of God to show up. Those are mighty weapons. See what it says. But our weapon of warfare or implement of warfare, they are mighty. They are mighty, mighty, mighty. The Holy Spirit is the war machine of the family. So those of you who do not acknowledge the Holy Ghost, you better. Just as Leviathan is the war machine of the Trinity of Satan, the Holy Ghost is the war machine of the Trinity of God. That is why when the Holy Ghost come upon you, when you are in the place of battle prayer, you become a mighty man or a mighty woman because you have mighty weapons. It says, mighty through God. Today, pulling down of strongholds. 
Why do they call way demons are strongholds in people's lives? Because when they come, they tie the knot, they tie the bolt so that you can have no breakthrough, so that they're in control of the place. They rule. Then you have to begin to rule. But before you can begin to rule, let's break the strongholds. There are strongholds that we don't even know exist in our lives because you've been bewitched. So you don't even know that there is a stronghold. Until I begin to talk to the demons in you and begin to cast them out, then you know there is a stronghold. When you begin to see resistance. There are some people who see me for the first time in the internet and they hate me. Hallelujah. They do. Are everybody hearing what I'm saying? Good. Yes. They hate me. Why? Because the thing in them knows me. They are mighty. Our job is to pull down strongholds. Not strongholds pulling us down. Get it? Let me finish up really quickly here. These are the things we should also begin to cast down. We cast down imaginations. We cast down every high thing that, that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Against the knowledge of God. And we bring into captivity. See that? Our job is to bring into captivity with me. We conquer force before you, you have to conquer force before you bring somebody or something into captivity. I'm bringing into captivity every, every thought to the obedience of Christ. That's where we want to stop. I will keep teaching this tomorrow afternoon. I will come back to this tomorrow afternoon and I will keep talking about it. But I'm running out of time now. I want you to begin to pray and tell God to make you a powerful woman, a powerful man right now. Ask God to make you powerful. Ask God to make you powerful. Ask him to fill you with new power of the Holy Ghost so that you begin to win. Because you need to win on earth. Either you win or you become a slave. Either you win or you will be captured. Tell God to make you a captain in your city. Tell God to make you to be in charge. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Then we round it up and call it the Let's end.
feel me the power. Feel me the power to worship. Feel me the power to pray. Power to sing and dance for you. Power of the world. Lord, fill your people with new power. Lord, let miracles show in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to tell I want to tell you a big thank you. I want to tell you a big thank you, a big thank you, a big thank you for being with me throughout this um this uh, battle prayer conference. I want to thank you. I want to thank you very much. There are surprises about to happen in our lives. Because the blessing has started. Go home and rejoice because God has done great things for you. Miracles are happening. This week is called Week of Testimony. This is the Week of Testimony. What has happened in these three days? You're going to see the repercussion of it. You're going to see the power of it. You think it was a small thing, it was not. So I look forward to see you tomorrow morning for morning prayer and 12 noon and then by 9 o'clock for um, Millionaire 500. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. God bless you and keep you. Bye bye. And uh, thank you once again. Thank you once again. Thank you once again for turning up this, this much. Bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome.